Hi, I'm Naranjan Dala, and uh, I'm from St. Boniface uh, Hospital Research Center, working there as a distinguished professor of the University of Manitoba. Uh, I'm here to present uh, my work on carbon dioxide bath therapy uh, at this International uh, Academy of uh, uh, Cardiology meeting in Vancouver. Uh, I just uh, completed this talk and I presented that uh, carbon dioxide as a novel therapy for the treatment of peripheral uh, artery disease. You know it's a very complex problem, peripheral disease is a very complex problem and um, um, there is no satisfactory intervention which is available uh, as of today uh, for the treatment of this peripheral vascular disease which is quite common in diabetic patients. So here we designed, we went, uh, um, you know, something 2000 years ago people used to take a bath in a spa, uh, carbon dioxide spa, Greek people used to do it. And we, we wanted to test if this has the effect on, uh, on peripheral uh, circulation. So we, we, we did an experimental uh, setting with where uh, uh, carbon dioxide um, bath was prepared. Uh, it was through filter that the mixing of the carbon dioxide uh, took place by Mitsubishi company. There is a machine, they have carburetor, they have made a very interesting machine. Uh, it uh, uh, sets up a desired concentration of carbon dioxide. And we found out that when we expose this uh, animals with ischemic uh, limb, uh, where, which we created by, by uh, tying the uh, arteries in the femoral arteries in the, in the leg. Uh, and they, this ischemic uh, limb uh, animal, uh, when we expose it, there was a marked increase, a dramatic increase uh, in, uh, in the blood flow to this limb, uh, both the uh, peak as well as uh, the minimal blood flow uh, velocities were increased and so the mean blood flow was increased by four or five folds. Uh, so it's a very interesting and this was associated with uh, angiogenesis. So, so carbon dioxide induced angiogenesis by a complex set of uh, the signal transduction mechanisms. Uh, we also uh, tested if there are any markers which we, we can identify and uh, we can only the marker which we came up very satisfactory was that it reduces oxidative stress. It reduces oxidative stress so that may be one of the markers one can, one can um, uh, establish uh, for monitoring this, uh, uh, the, the problem uh, in this. We also monitor the other biomarkers like uh, VGF, plasma VGF level, um, production of uh, the NO uh, from endothelial cells, uh, as well as the as well as the the uh, the uh, inflammatory biomarkers like TNF alpha. Uh, we did, but they were not. Uh, uh, correlated. There was no correlation between these biomarkers changes and the and the beneficial effect of carbon dioxide. So the only beneficial, only correlation was we found a reduction in oxidative stress. So we believe that this uh, angiogenesis uh, may be may be uh, induced by some signal transduction by in a similar way as a redox. Uh, mechanisms are involved in uh, inducing some, activating some signal molecules and this may be happening here. So carbon dioxide is, seems to be a very novel therapy uh, which might become very important. I, we believe preliminary data in clinical setting has shown that there is a remarkable effect in wound healing uh, with respect to this carbon dioxide bar therapy.